Traveling is an adventure, but some adventures are better left untaken. Today, we are exploring the eight countries that Americans are advised not to visit in 2024. This list comes directly from the U.S. Department of State's travel advisories. Pack your virtual bags and let's embark on this journey of discovery. Starting our list at number eight, we have Russia. Now, Russia is a country of stark contrast with its captivating history and rich culture. But it's also a place where you might want to tread carefully. Why, you might ask? Well, it's largely due to reasons of political tension and escalating crime rates. Yes, it's true. The political climate in Russia has been a bit frosty, especially towards the United States, creating a sense of unease for American travelers. And let's not forget the rising crime rates that have been a constant concern in certain parts of the country. But what if you still want to venture into this land of the Tsars and Tolstoy? Well, getting in and out of Russia isn't exactly a cakewalk. First off, you'd need a visa and the process can be quite rigorous. You'd need an invitation from a Russian citizen or a hotel, which must be registered with the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And then there are the border controls. Russia is known for its stringent border checks, so make sure to keep all your documents handy and be prepared for a thorough inspection. So while the allure of Russia's rich cultural heritage and history may be tempting, it's a country that requires cautious navigation. Despite its rich culture and history, Russia requires cautious navigation. Next on our list at number seven is Venezuela. A land of stunning landscapes, Venezuela is unfortunately marred by an ongoing economic crisis. This crisis has led to a surge in crime rates and a significant decline in health infrastructure. The economic instability has resulted in a scarcity of basic necessities, leading to an increase in theft and violence. The crime rates here are some of the highest in the world, with Caracas, the capital, often topping the list of the most dangerous cities. The health infrastructure in Venezuela has also been severely impacted by the economic crisis. Hospitals are often understaffed and lack essential medical supplies, making it a risky destination for travelers, particularly in the event of an emergency. Now, if you're wondering about the logistics of traveling to and from Venezuela, it's quite an endeavor. Upon entering the country, you'll face strict airport controls and potential currency issues. The government maintains firm control over foreign exchange, so obtaining local currency can be a challenge. Leaving the country is also not without its hurdles. Airlines have significantly reduced their services to Venezuela due to the economic situation, making flights in and out of the country both scarce and expensive. Despite these challenges, it's important to remember that Venezuela is a country of incredible natural beauty, with landscapes ranging from the snow-capped Andes to the stunning Caribbean coast. However, the prevailing conditions have unfortunately cast a shadow over its potential as a travel destination. Venezuela, a country of natural beauty overshadowed by its prevailing conditions. Moving on to number six, we find Yemen. This Arabian Peninsula nation, rich in history and culture, is unfortunately also embroiled in a devastating civil war. This conflict, along with a high risk of terrorism, makes Yemen a precarious destination for American travelers. The U.S. Department of State strongly advises against travel to Yemen due to these risks, as well as the lack of essential services such as healthcare and transportation. Getting into Yemen can be quite a challenge, as the ongoing conflict has significantly limited the availability of flights. Many airlines have ceased operations in Yemen, leaving only a handful of options. And once you're in the country, moving around is no walk in the park either. You'll encounter numerous checkpoints manned by various factions, each with their own set of rules and regulations. Leaving the country isn't any easier. The limited flights mean that getting a seat out might be as challenging as getting in. Furthermore, the U.S. government has limited ability to provide emergency services to U.S. citizens in Yemen. But it's not all doom and gloom. Yemen is home to a resilient people with a rich culture and history dating back thousands of years. It's a land of stunning landscapes, ancient cities, and a unique blend of cultural influences. Yemen, a country caught in the crossfire of conflict. At the halfway mark at number five is Syria. Now Syria is a land of ancient history, a place where civilizations have risen and fallen. But today it finds itself in a state of continuous conflict and turmoil. The ongoing civil war, coupled with the threat of terrorism, has made Syria a hazardous destination for travelers. 
the U.S. Department of State strongly advises against traveling here due to the unpredictable security environment and a significant risk of kidnapping. Getting into Syria is a challenge in itself, with strict border controls and limited flights. Traveling overland isn't recommended either, as neighboring countries have stringent border regulations due to security concerns. If for some reason you find yourself needing to visit Syria, remember that your safety is not guaranteed. This is a place where the rule of law can be unpredictable and infrastructure is severely lacking. Exiting Syria isn't a walk in the park either. Given the volatile situation, flights can be canceled without notice and crossing the border can be fraught with danger. It's also worth noting that the U.S. Embassy in Damascus suspended its operations back in 2012, leaving you with limited resources should you need assistance. Syria, a place where the echoes of history are drowned out by the sounds of conflict. A country where the beauty of its past is overshadowed by its troubled present. Syria, a country where history and conflict intertwine. Navigating further into our list at number four, we have Somalia. Now, you may have heard of the infamous Somali pirates, and unfortunately piracy and maritime crime are still significant issues, but it doesn't stop there. Terrorist attacks, violent crime, and the general lack of law enforcement make Somalia a risky destination for travelers. The U.S. Department of State strongly advises against all travel to Somalia due to these threats. Even if you decide to venture into the country, getting in and out can prove to be quite the challenge. To enter Somalia, you'll need a visa, which must be obtained in advance from a Somali embassy or consulate, as they're not issued on arrival. Also keep in mind that there's no U.S. Embassy in Somalia to assist you, should you run into trouble. Reliable transportation in and out of the country is another hurdle. Mogadishu's Aden Ade International Airport is the main hub, but flights are irregular and safety standards can be questionable. Travel by sea is strongly discouraged due to piracy concerns. Now, we're not saying that Somalia is without its charms. This East African nation boasts a rich history, diverse culture, and stunning landscapes. But as it stands in 2024, traveling to Somalia involves substantial risk. So, if you're an intrepid traveler with Somalia on your bucket list, it's best to hold off for now. Keep your spirit of adventure alive, but remember, safety should always be your priority. Somalia, a land of contrast where caution is key. Coming in at number three, we find Afghanistan, a country with a rich history and stunning landscapes, yet fraught with perils that make it a destination to reconsider. Afghanistan is currently experiencing ongoing conflict as well as a heightened risk of terrorism and crime, making it a precarious place for travelers. The U.S. Department of State has issued a Level 4 Travel Advisory for Afghanistan, the highest level, which advises Americans not to travel to the country. This advisory is due to the unstable security situation, which includes insurgent attacks and suicide bombings, often targeting Westerners. Crime is also a concern, with incidents of armed robbery and kidnapping for ransom being reported. Getting in and out of Afghanistan is no small feat either. The country has limited commercial flights and, due to its volatile security situation, travelers can expect rigorous security checks. It is crucial to have a well-thought-out plan and to stay informed about the latest developments in the country. Engaging with a trusted local guide can provide invaluable insights and assistance, but this does not guarantee safety. Keep in mind that U.S. Embassy personnel are restricted from traveling to many areas within Afghanistan, which could limit the ability to provide emergency services to American citizens. Therefore, it's essential to register your trip with the U.S. Department of State's Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, or STEP, to receive the latest security updates. Afghanistan, a country where the risks currently outweigh the rewards. Just shy of the top spot at number two is North Korea a country that's always in the headlines, but not necessarily for the right reasons. Its political tension with the United States is no secret, making it a precarious destination for American travelers. North Korea's strict laws and regulations add another layer of complexity. Something as simple as an unapproved photograph or a misunderstood comment can land you in hot water. It's a place where freedom of movement and expression are heavily restricted and these constraints can be overwhelming to the unprepared traveler. Now let's talk about the process of getting in and out of North Korea. First off, 
casual tourism is not allowed. You must join a guided tour, and these tours are carefully orchestrated to show you only a curated version of the country. The visa process is complex and requires a sponsor from within North Korea. Even after securing a visa, there's no guarantee, as the North Korean government has the final say on who gets in and who doesn't. Exiting North Korea is equally challenging. Tourists are often accompanied right up to the departure gate, and any deviation from the approved itinerary can lead to serious consequences. In a nutshell, the combination of political tension, stringent laws, and limited freedom make North Korea a place of caution for American travelers. North Korea, a country shrouded in mystery and caution. Before we reveal the most dangerous country, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you find our content informative and engaging, or if you want to stay updated with more of this type of content. Now holding the number one position on our list is Iraq, a country that, with its rich history and cultural heritage, is at present deemed the most hazardous destination for American travelers. The primary reasons for this advisory are the overwhelming risks of terrorism, armed conflict, and kidnapping. These threats are not confined to some regions. They are widespread throughout the entire country. The U.S. Department of State sternly advises against all travel to Iraq, emphasizing that private U.S. citizens are at amplified risk of being targeted. Despite these stern warnings, if an American chooses to venture into Iraq, the process is intricate. Gaining entry into Iraq necessitates a visa which can solely be obtained from an Iraqi embassy or consulate of the U.S. The visa application process typically involves stringent security checks and can be laborious. And once inside the country, it's crucial to remain alert, maintain a low profile, and always have a backup plan. Exiting the country, conversely, is relatively direct, although delays can occur due to escalated security measures. The U.S. government's ability to provide emergency services to U.S. citizens in Iraq is severely limited, which further aggravates the situation. In essence, the current atmosphere in Iraq is with peril. This doesn't mean that the country is devoid of beauty or fascination, but rather the risks at this time are simply insurmountable. Iraq, a country where the perils currently overshadow the curiosity for exploration. And there you have it. The top eight countries Americans are advised to avoid in 2024. From the political turmoil in Russia and Venezuela to the ongoing conflicts in Yemen, Syria, Somalia, Afghanistan, North Korea, and Iraq, remember, the world is vast and full of wonders, so stay safe, stay informed, and keep exploring.